Hello and welcome to our latest science video roundup. I'm Tom Simonite and I'll be taking you through the best clips of the past week. First, footage of a newly discovered species of mammal. Sandrine Kerstemont tells us more. This animal may look a bit like an anteater, but it's actually a new species of elephant shrew and is distantly related to elephants, sea cows and aardvarks. Biologist Galen Rathbun, one of the few experts on these mammals, was alerted to sightings of what seemed to be a new species in Tanzania's Udzungwa Mountains. In March 2006, he set out to investigate further and came across 40 of the creatures. These shrews used their long tongue to slurp up ants, worms and other small invertebrates from the forest floor. It's the fifth new species of mammal to be discovered in this area in the past decade. Now here's another bizarre animal, a hummingbird, that sings with its tail. Katrine Brahick takes up the story. Most birds use their voice box to chirp, but scientists are finding out that male Anna's hummingbirds can produce a sound from their tails. During the mating season, a male will swoop up and then dive down at speeds of more than 50 miles per hour. Near the bottom of its dive, and when it is close to a female, it produces a loud chirp. Researchers from the University of California at Berkeley filmed diving hummingbirds with a high-speed camera capturing 500 frames per second. Just before they chirped, they noticed that their tail feathers flared out very briefly. Hummingbird tail feathers have tiny interlocked barbs on their edges, making them stiff enough to vibrate in a similar way to the reed of a wind instrument. Since they have small voice boxes, the researchers think that chirping with their tails allows them to produce louder sounds than they could vocally. The researchers tried plucking tail feathers from the birds and proved they couldn't chirp without them. But don't worry, the feathers soon grew back. Next, a virtual reality game being used to investigate schizophrenia. Sandrine Kerstemont tells us more. Israeli researchers are using virtual reality games to better understand how people with schizophrenia perceive the world. In this experiment, a subject navigates through a maze of rooms and has to figure out which door to open to exit each one. Their goal is to get through the game as fast as possible, and the correct choice is based on identifying the correct combination of a sound, color or shape associated with each door. A combination of sounds and visuals was used to see if unnecessary cues would distract volunteers with schizophrenia, who typically have trouble ignoring audio that isn't relevant. In a more recent experiment, a subject was guided through these virtual streets and the game was stopped at specific places. The subject had to identify any oddities, in this case the mooing dog. All of the healthy volunteers noticed at least 87% of the unusual items, whereas only 6 of the 43 subjects with schizophrenia scored in this range. The researchers chose to use virtual reality for testing because it allowed them to incorporate different sensory information into one environment. And that's our final clip for this week but there's plenty of science and technology news on our website or in the magazine. See you next time.